For those who don't know, ESG stands for Environmental, Social, and Corporate Governance. And it got started back in 2004, I believe, um, by the UN. And it was this... Of course. It was this theory of social change that you could use corporations to change society um, and make it better. And so they started rating companies based on how well they complied with like rape, labor regulations um, and also how socially progressive they were. And they were given a score out of 100 and then a lot of investment firms started embracing ESG and used that to make investment decisions. We, I mean, I'm sure some people knew this was going on, especially people that were working in the finance sector, but I had no idea what this was before maybe a year ago. Yeah. Um, but the enemy you don't know is always more dangerous than the enemy that, that you do. So people now understand what ESG is and can target and fight ESG measures because for the longest time we were just like, how did all of these corporations suddenly go woke? Like what, what profit motive are they yeah, following? It, it did, like I said, it did not seem like people were being like, here's my money. I want the tuck swimsuits. It seemed very unnatural, very forced. And we're like, what is this driving force behind yeah. this, this corporate push? And now all of a sudden, all the DEI officers, all the diversity, equity, and inclusion people, and every single corporation making you know, sometimes half a million dollars a year. Like I've seen, I've seen, I've been on LinkedIn, you know, on my little job search. I'm seeing starting positions for DI, DI officers at like 350,000 for large corporations, for government positions. And oh. you're like, what are they, how oh, no. are they spending this money? Like, where is it coming That's from? That's crazy. ESG. That is crazy. That's the motivation. That's yeah. insane. But I do think, so I was doing some research on ESG for a short that I wrote. I think it's already out. Um, and according to Harvard Business Review, they did a study of these ESG investment firms um, and the companies they're supporting, these investment portfolios, and they're not really doing better financially. Um, and also they aren't, necessarily performing better with environmental rules or labor rules. So ESG just seems kind of, you know, like it's going to yeah, flounder so eventually. We talked about this a few episodes ago, actually a couple months ago at this point, but whenever Silicon Valley Bank collapsed, at the time of its collapse, they were focused on all these ESG diversity, equity, and inclusion projects. Um, the one lady who was, I, I believe, the UK's uh, chief of financial risk for the company, at the time of the collapse, she was using this to create like a, a a message board for youth to come out on on the Silicon Valley website, like as if anyone wants to do that and what? doing doing all these <laughs> launching my coming out on uh, a bank uh, discussion. It really board. didn't make any sense, but she was launching all of these like LGBT initiatives. On? Like, what's going on? But yeah, and then they collapsed, and then and then they collapsed. So yeah, clearly it's not that. It's not worth it to be that. Well, what it does is it distorts the profit motive that typically guides company decision making. So it adds in this extra layer of complexity and guides the hand of the people running these corporations in directions they naturally wouldn't yeah. go to. Um, and like I said, they don't necessarily perform better with labor or environmental rules, which I could see people being like, oh, well, that's good. Like, treat your employees well, da 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 But, like, that's not really happening. Really, the place we're seeing it the most um, is with left-wing positions, which is now starting to hurt these companies and hurt their profits. Yeah. 